it snow. Let it snow. Hi guys! Today I went to Instagram. I'm looking at my laptop down here and asked you guys to send over some questions so we can do a little Q&A today. What made you decide to become a police officer? The salary, the stability, helping others. My mom suggested going into the FBI and in order to do that, you have to start at the very bottom, which would be a police officer. She even gave me contact information to talk to an FBI agent and that's what he suggested. I did internships and I applied all over wherever I could. I even put myself through the academy, which means I paid my way through. And I always thought that it was really interesting on how they do things, how you can solve cases. I always was intrigued by that kind of stuff. That's basically why I wanted to get into it. How did you sign up for a ride along with the police? I called every single local police department in my area and asked if they did internships or ride-alongs. Typically, a lot of police departments offer ride-alongs to college students. What is the most stressful slash impactful call you have gone to so far? Love your videos. Ah, oh, thank you so much. <laughs> Definitely would have to say this accident that occurred while I was on nights. Three teenagers actually died from this rash. I would say that that's the most impactful Thing I've ever seen just because I've never seen anything like that before in my life these innocent people weren't even shaped as humans anymore because of how bad that accident was I mean I, I saw everything they were basically smeared all over the car and obviously I don't want to get too graphic with that kind of stuff. It's not something that I would ever want anyone to see. And this is what people don't take into consideration with police officers. We see crazy things. Things that you could only imagine in nightmares. That's why I always say, please be kind to police officers as much as you can. Your favorite makeup product at the moment, Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Powder. I have dry skin and I'm able to wear that and it makes my skin look super smooth. So I love, love that one. If you can choose a police officer from a movie or a TV show as a partner, who are you gonna choose? And that's such an interesting little question. Probably Danny from <laughs> Blue Bloods. I think that he's phenomenal as a cop. I mean, obviously all of that stuff is a little um, dramatic because it's a TV show, but he seems like he would be top notch. If you weren't a police officer, what would you be? I personally wanted to work with fashion. That was my top priority when I was younger. I wanted to go into fashion merchandising. How are you? Also, thank you for protecting and serving. That's so sweet. I am doing freaking great. As of right now, I, I just love life. And I always try to stress this to you guys, create a life that you love. There have been times in the past where I've been depressed about certain things and I just didn't have the will to move forward. I'm so thankful and so glad that I was able to pull myself out of that. It's important to live a happy life and I really hope that each and every one of you are doing the same. What do you think of the thin blue line flag? I think it's amazing. Have you had any pinch me moments with your job where it was like being in a movie? Absolutely. You can't make this stuff up. The things that we encounter on a regular basis is so like mind blowing. Sometimes it's like, can people seriously be like this? Hardest part of the academy and the best part of the academy. The hardest part was probably defensive tactics and having to learn penal law and vehicle and traffic law. I'm not someone who can sit down in a classroom and just be talked at. I have to be doing it as I'm learning it. That's how I learn. That's how I retain information. The best part of the academy is all of the amazing friends that you get to have once you graduate. Um, I still keep in contact with a lot of my academy mates and I wish them the best in everything that they do. Love you. How are you today? Oh, you're so sweet. I love you too. I'm doing great. I hope you're doing just as well. Did you go to college? If so, what did you major in? So I did go to college. I went to a two-year school first, and then I got my associate's degree there. Then I went to a four-year school and got my bachelor's there for criminal justice. Assuming you're currently going to field training? Any advice? Yes, please retain all of the information that you get from your FTOs. That has to be like the biggest frustration. 
that FTOs face. Their recruit is just not retaining information and that's how you can fail. So really listen to each word that your FTO is telling you. Retain that information. Best advice for women who want to join law enforcement. Love your channel. Ah, oh, thank you. So my advice is that don't let these men push you around. I understand that men feel a certain type of way because females want to get into this job. If you want to get into this career, you go for it. You accomplish your goals. It's super important. Just don't let them get to you. Height does not matter. I've seen short female police officers. I've seen tall. Just do the best that you can and go for it. How do you deal with social life, such big events, when your other friends have Monday through Friday, eight to five jobs? Who? Ooh, this is a good question. It can be a challenge sometimes. Luckily, the way that I cope with it is I have rotating days off. So I don't just have Monday, Tuesday off. I have a rotating schedule. So every four weeks, I'll have a weekend off. And that's when we typically try to plan things. My family is very, very sweet. And they also try to plan when I'm off, which I'm very, very grateful for because not everyone is like that. Not everyone gets the privilege of their family actually being supportive and understanding. I'm buying your merch tomorrow after my ACT and I'm so stoked. That's so sweet. Any of you who purchases a piece of my merch, my heart melts. I'm so freaking grateful for that. Just so blessed. Thank you so much. That means a lot. Are you planning on staying a cop for long? If not, what would be your next job? P.S. Love your vids. Ah, thank you. All the way from Canada. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. I really want to visit Canada sometime soon once this pandemic's over with. I miss Canada. No, I do not want to stay in this career for the 20 years. Don't get me wrong. There's pros and cons of this job. I do love it from time to time. I just don't see myself in this for 20 years. What my plan is becoming full-time on YouTube and then doing police work part-time so that I'm still in it because this was such a huge goal of mine to accomplish that obviously I just don't want to throw it all away. So I would like to be part-time and then do YouTube full-time. Fingers crossed, let's hope so. Woo! Are you still planning on building a house? Absolutely. I didn't realize how much actually goes into it. There's a lot. So I finally just finished the paperwork, subdividing the land so that it can be put into my name. Then they have to submit it into the town. The town has to vote on it and they have to do all this other stuff. Yes, I'm very much so still planning on building a house. It's going to be right next to my parents' house, which I'm so excited. It just takes a really long time. How do you deal with all of the backlash police are receiving? Every day, every shift that I have, I always make it a point to be kind. When I first initially encounter people, if they're being nice and respectful, I'm gonna be respectful and nice, of course, no matter what. If there are people out there that are acting like yahoos, I try to de-escalate the situation by talking to them in a nice way. I'm telling them that, hey, I understand where you're coming from, but listen, let's try to look at it this way instead of yelling and making a big scene. Sometimes it can be difficult. Sometimes it can really get to us. It's crazy. We have to be like robots and just keep moving on. Whereas if other people were dealing with the same things, they would have snapped by now. Another way that I deal with it is just not even focusing on the news or anything like that. I know that that sounds strange because a lot of police officers want to be informed and watch the news. But if I was to watch the news, I would be so negative because it's just full of negativity. And I'm well aware of what's going on right now. I don't need to know every little snippet that is on the news, especially when it plays like a political role and all this other stuff and they want us to just look bad no matter what. That's, that's sickening. I know who I am. No one else knows me better than me. So you're not going to tell me that I'm like a racist cop and I do this and I do that. No, I don't. You don't know me. So don't put us all in the same box. And that's what the news does. And it's sickening. Have you ever had to fire your gun minus training? Knock on wood, not yet, but sometimes we have to dispatch, which means shoot deer. <laughs> your least favorite part of your job and your favorite part. My least favorite would probably be the hours and working on holidays and all that stuff because I'm a huge family person. To work on holidays, I'm just, ugh, I'm so over it. It really just drives me bonkers at this point. My favorite part of the job, is all of the life lessons that it has taught me. 
I've learned so much for the better. I definitely think that I've grown and become a better person after becoming a police officer. It puts your life into perspective and it gives you a reality check. My foot's falling asleep. <laughs> I want to sit in my fanny, but then I'm like too short. Funniest arrest story. Um, <laughs> put this in my next story time video, but I arrested someone from my academy. Like what? <laughs> How insane is that? So she always had like a bad life. And then she just started dating an idiot who was involved in drugs and stupidity. And then she got wrapped up into it. Are you dating anyone? I am. <laughs> Did you pass the law enforcement test the first time? Are you talking about the civil service exam? If you are, then no. Heck no. I had to take that thing three times. The third time I finally got an 85 or 6, which was, I was so happy. And that was after I went to review classes. See if review classes are offered in your area. If your parents are pissed that you want to be a police officer, this is something that is your dream. I would just sit your parents down and talk to them about it. I understand that they're probably worried that it's dangerous and it can be. If you think that you can do it and you want to accomplish that goal, then just talk to your parents. You should be open and honest with your parents. At the end of the day, they don't understand. Maybe just prove to them or show them that it's going to be okay. Parents worry. I worry about my little fur babies, so I can only imagine about a full-on human. <laughs> what was the scariest moment of your career so far as a police officer? This was actually with one of my sergeants. We were looking for a bunch of juveniles that possibly had a weapon, a gun to be exact. And I saw one that matched the description and he had his hands tucked into the front of his pocket. And I told him, let me see your hands, let me see your hands, stop. And he wasn't, so that was a little terrifying because I don't know if he was gonna pop out a gun. Hands kill. You always wanna be able to see your suspect's hands, anyone's hands. Your type when dating. Someone who knows what the heck they're doing in life as far as how to fix things. A gentleman, gentlemen win my heart. Cool, we're just flying through these. Do you ever feel scared while on patrol and how did you deal with it? Absolutely. There have been times where I get dispatched to a call and I get either butterflies in my stomach or my heart sinks down to my stomach. The way that I deal with it is taking it step by step. So upon going to certain calls, I am aware of my surroundings. I take it moment by moment, which means observing everything. There's other officers that are close by so they can be there just as fast as you can. So that's also something that kind of calms your nerves to de-escalate the situation and you'll probably feel a lot better and you can calm your nerves. But there have been numerous times where I've been high on anxiety going to a call. What's your favorite Christmas tradition? Oh! Every Christmas morning, my dad plays this song that he's been playing for years. <laughs> to wake us up. That has to be my, like my favorite Christmas tradition. He's been doing it for years. Every single morning he'll just play that song. <laughs> of what hair and makeup requirements are for the academy and a sworn police officer? So I never really worried about my makeup. I That's the least of my worries, especially because the academy and everything is so stressful, but you can have at least a little bit of mascara. As far as hair goes, you just wanna make sure that it's slick back, there's no flyaways, so I wouldn't even include these. <laughs> it's nice and slick back, everything is tight, sp hair sprayed. Um, you can either part your hair down the middle and do it that way. Sometimes braiding the ponytail and then wrapping it around to make a bun works. Do people ever tell you you're too nice to be a cop? And if so, how do you respond? Oh yeah, I used to get that left and right when I first started. All I would say is, well, I mean, I can get serious and mean when I need to be. Having a time time with push-ups, any advice for someone wanting to be a cop? There's different exercises that you can do, and I put that in my workout video to prepare for the academy, so I'll link that in the screen. Do them on your knees until you get stronger. Work out your chest. You can always lift weights. That definitely helps. Do triceps. Have you ever had a time where your parents couldn't watch the dogs? No which I'm very, very, very grateful for. What's your go-to hairstyle at work? Wearing it like this, where 
I just have it up in a sleek bun and then I hairspray it as much as I can so there's no flyaways. I use two scrunchies. So I tie it at the base here and then I wrap it around and then I secure it with another scrunchie. That's just so I can relieve some of the pressure on my actual scalp. Sometimes I get headaches if it's pulled too tight. So using the two different hair ties really helps. I can definitely do like a little makeup tutorial in one of my vlogs for Vlogmas. My favorite cheat meal would have to be Italian. I love anything Italian related, whether it's pizza, pasta with vodka sauce, and then a nice glass of wine. Do you like white wines or red wines? So I love all wine, as long as it's not too, too sweet. I like white and red. They're all fantastic. <laughs> my favorite right now, my go-to is Bully Hill. Anything from them, I just think is yummy. <laughs> Thank you so much to each and every one of you who submitted a question. It means a lot. You guys are fantastic. I love each and every one of you. I am working on responding to all of the comments and DMs. I never ignore any of you. It just takes me a little bit to catch up. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. <laughs>